You guys. <laughs> <sighs> I'm so tired. I don't even know if you guys can hear me in my voice. <sighs> I'm seriously just so tired. And you probably, maybe you hear my mom She's talking in the background in Korean, actually Konglish, half Korean, half English. Um. It's not weird to me, like the half English, half Korean thing, but I think a lot of other people, since they don't hear it often, they're just like, what? Like, because <laughs> you'll hear like partially English words and then you'll hear Korean and you won't understand the conversation. Anyways, so yesterday, as you probably have seen, I went to Disneyland. I went to. No, I didn't. Um. Went to California Adventure Park with my sister, um, and it was fun. It was it was a lot of fun. Um, we went from like n n t between nine thirty and ten. We got there. We honestly got there. We got there around like nine fifteen, but we drove around a lot because um, my mom couldn't find um, the place she remembered. But yeah, um, it was it was fun. Not as many rides as Disneyland, um, my sister and I noticed, but it was still fun. Um, yeah. I think I bought more things this time than I did last time. But this time I actually have money to spend, so that was good. Um, yeah, at the end of the night, though, I think, because Faith and I were both tired, tensions kind of ran high and my mom kind of dropped like a text on us and was like oh hey get um yourselves home we're not like i'm not gonna come pick you up and i was kind of sorry i'm just gonna go close this door because i just realized how loud it is my mom is being so loud um yeah, but yeah okay so Mom just like texted my sister and was like, "Oh hey, we're not gonna come pick you up, so find your own way home." And I was like, kind of annoyed because she told us she was gonna pick us up and it'd be easier, obviously, if she came to pick us up. So I just uh, it was annoying. So I ended up I had downloaded the Uber app before the trip because I knew that I was going to be staying by myself um in California for a week, and my week by myself will be starting tomorrow. Um, so I downloaded it, I had made an account, I put all my credit card information and everything. Um, I had requested an Uber, um, at the end of the night, after we went to IHOP, we just had something to eat, and then got an Uber, but I guess I had put in my Canadian number, and, uh, I didn't know that Uber would, like, call you and, like, text you, like, when you made your like trip planning thing like you set your trip i didn't know that they would call you and uh to me i like i don't normally call or text anywhere in the states and what i had gotten for this trip for these two weeks was a gig of data that's the only thing that i had bought for my travel um like phone usage and i was like you know that's good enough for me like it'll be fine i'll just request the uber and they'll just come and like it won't be an issue but like they call they call you and i was like that's kind of weird why don't they just like have a messaging system within uber where you can just use like wi-fi or wi-fi and or internet like i think that would be so much easier so like my sister and i we kind of got into i don't know i thought it was a bit of a like i never know what my sister is thinking sometimes and she doesn't say stuff, and sometimes I think she's being, like, passive, frustrated at me. So that's what I kind of felt. Eventually, um... So I had my Canadian number associated with my account. Eventually, I changed it to Fate's American number, since she's in the States now. And then, for the first trip, the driver eventually canceled the trip because he couldn't get a hold of me. Because I couldn't pick up my phone or answer any text because I didn't know if he had an iPhone or not. Um, so I couldn't have opened up the text messages. Um, so the second trip, um, we had Fate's number on my account. She answered. It was all good. 
drove home, and then I got really, like, frustrated because my mom and my aunt were just in the pool, like, chilling out, like, the, like, like, I know I'm an adult now, and I have to figure out stuff on my own, but, like, it's just, it was frustrating and annoying, and I was tired, and my contacts were drying out, and, like, literally, I could not see anything, because my contacts were dry, and they were blurring, and I couldn't see anything, I couldn't, like, keep my eyes open, because I couldn't see anything, <sighs> anyways, and then, didn't go to sleep until one, because I had to figure out I just, like, did social media stuff, and I uploaded my vlog, and all that stuff, and didn't go to bed till 1, and then this morning I didn't sleep in at all, I woke up at 8, I had 7 hours of sleep, which might not, which might seem like a lot to some of you, but to me, nothing, that's, that's not a blip on my radar, um, so today was tiring, um, I was kind of tired just throughout this entire day, and I just... Didn't put sunscreen on, didn't put any moisturizer on or anything. It was a fun day though, we hung out with my um, uncle and his wife, my aunt, and my two young cousins. We went to Griffith Observatory and then we ended up going back to my aunt and uncle's house. Um, then we went to In-N-Out and then Santa Monica Promenade. And ended the day with Yogurt Land, and then my uncle dropped us off, my sister and I off, back at my aunt's place, which is where I am right now. But yeah, I'm like exhausted, and I kind of can't wait for next week to happen so I can just have time to myself and just veg for like days on end. My aunt was saying, not the aunt that I'm staying with, my uncle's wife, my aunt. Um, she was saying I should call her so we could just, like, have lunch or go out or something. I might take her up on that, because I don't know if I've said this before, but my family's kind of dysfunctional, and my uncle's wife is not a part of this family, really. Like, she's not blood-related to me. So I think she kind of understands. She might understand, like, she does understand a lot of what I think about my family, and I can just talk to her about this stuff, which is nice to have someone other than my sister to be annoyed with my family. So yeah, tomorrow my sister and my mom go back home. I'm gonna miss my sister, but uh, I don't think I'll miss much of my mom or anything. Yeah, that's that's another complicated story in itself. Oh, and I guess today is actually the last day of the vlog. So fitting that it's almost like 10 minutes. <laughs> it's kind of a weird ending, though. It's kind of a depressing, sad, frustrating, annoyed, tiring end. But, um, yeah. That's it. So, I hope you guys had fun watching my vlogs. Some of them are really short, and this one is going to be the longest of them all. But yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching my month of vlogs, guys. I think this is the first time I actually made it through.